What if everything you perceive, every experience you have, is nothing more than an elaborate simulation? What if your entire existence is a carefully constructed illusion? Welcome to What If It's All a Game, where today we delve into the paradox of simulation theory and explore the compelling efforts to challenge its validity. This thought-provoking journey will lead us to question our reality, the nature of consciousness, and the very essence of what it means to be alive. In this video, we will tackle some fundamental questions. How can we confirm that we are not just characters in a sophisticated game? What evidence supports our understanding of reality as genuine? And what philosophical inquiries arise when we consider the possibility that our world might be a simulation? We will navigate through historical perspectives, cutting-edge theories, and the implications of such ideas, all while encouraging you to reflect deeply on your own existence and beliefs. But before we dive into the depths of this philosophical ocean, let's lay the groundwork. The simulation hypothesis, popularized by figures such as Nick Bostrom, posits that if advanced civilizations exist, they might create simulations indistinguishable from reality. This leads us to the unsettling possibility. If such simulations are conceivable, how do we know we are not currently living in one? To better understand this, we need to explore the concept of reality itself. What defines our reality? Is it our sensory experiences, the relationships we forge, or the knowledge we acquire? Let's consider a familiar experience, deja vu. This eerie sensation of having lived through a moment before raises questions about the nature of memory and time. It prompts us to ponder if these instances are glitches in our perception, akin to a software error in a simulation. Philosophers have long debated the nature of reality. Plato, in his Allegory of the Cave, describes prisoners who see only shadows on a wall, mistaking them for reality. Could it be that we, too, are prisoners in our own cave, unaware of the true nature of existence beyond our immediate perceptions? This allegory serves as a powerful metaphor for our inquiry into the simulation theory. René Descartes famously questioned the certainty of his own existence, concluding, Cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. But what if our thoughts are merely products of a programmed reality? This leads us to the philosophical musings of David Chalmers, who introduces the idea of the hard problem of consciousness. He suggests that while we can understand brain processes, the subjective experience of consciousness remains elusive, raising questions about what it means to truly exist. As we explore these philosophical arguments, it is crucial to analyze the logical structure behind them. Bostrom's simulation argument is particularly noteworthy. He contends that if we accept three propositions, that civilizations reach a post-human stage, that they are interested in creating simulations, and that they run many simulations, then it follows that we are statistically more likely to be in a simulation than in the original reality. This argument compels us to consider our place in the universe and the nature of existence itself. However, while these theories are intriguing, they are not without their critics. Many philosophers argue that the simulation hypothesis lacks empirical evidence. Could it be that our understanding of consciousness and reality is simply a reflection of our biological evolution? In this view, the human brain is an advanced organ that has developed through millennia, adapting to process information and navigate the world. This perspective challenges the notion that we exist in a simulation, suggesting instead that our experiences are genuine manifestations of our biological and evolutionary history. Moreover, the scientific community has yet to provide definitive proof of the simulation hypothesis. While advancements in quantum physics and computer science may suggest the feasibility of simulations, the absence of concrete evidence leaves room for skepticism. Theories such as the multiverse concept further complicate our understanding of reality, positing that countless universes exist simultaneously, each with differing laws of physics. This raises profound questions. If we inhabit just one of these universes, how can we ascertain the nature of our reality? As we delve deeper into this philosophical labyrinth, let's consider the implications of living in a simulation. If we were to accept that our reality is artificially constructed, what would that mean for our understanding of morality, free will, and the human experience? Would our lives lose meaning, or would we find newfound purpose in the quest for knowledge and understanding? This inquiry leads us to a critical juncture. Suppose we entertain the idea that we are indeed living in a simulation. What could be the motivations of those who created it? Is it a grand experiment, a source of entertainment, or perhaps an educational tool designed to teach us about existence? These questions compel us to rethink our understanding of purpose and agency within our lives. Consider the implications of artificial intelligence within this framework. As technology advances, we are increasingly confronted with the possibility of creating our own simulations and conscious entities. This raises ethical dilemmas. If we can create consciousness, do we have a moral obligation to those entities? Are we, in turn, no different from the creators of our own simulation? 
Throughout this exploration, we must remain aware of the uncertainties inherent in these discussions. The boundaries between science and philosophy blur as we grapple with these profound questions. While some may argue that the simulation hypothesis is mere speculation, it serves as a catalyst for deeper inquiry into the nature of our existence. As we navigate through this complex landscape, let's not forget the crucial role of personal reflection. How do these theories resonate with your own experiences and beliefs? Have you ever felt a sense of disconnect or questioned the nature of your reality? Engaging with these questions is vital as they challenge us to confront our assumptions about ourselves and the world around us. In the face of such profound inquiries, it's important to recognize the limitations of our understanding. Theories come and go, and our grasp of reality continues to evolve. Just as the scientific method demands rigorous testing and validation, so too must our philosophical explorations remain open to scrutiny and debate. So what does it mean to know that we are real? Perhaps it lies in the connections we forge with others, the emotions we experience, and the knowledge we seek. Our shared humanity, our capacity for love and empathy, may serve as the most compelling evidence of our existence. As we conclude this exploration, I invite you to reflect on the ideas presented here. What if our understanding of reality is merely a starting point for deeper inquiry? If our perceptions can be called into question, what does that say about the nature of truth? Ultimately, the journey of understanding our existence is ongoing. We may never arrive at absolute certainty, but the questions we ask and the discussions we engage in are what propel us forward. If you found this exploration thought-provoking, consider subscribing to our channel, What If It's All a Game? Join us as we continue to unravel the complexities of existence and the mysteries that lie beyond our perception. What ideas resonated with you the most? Are there aspects of these theories that you find particularly compelling or troubling? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue this dialogue together. If you value this exploration of reality and consciousness, don't hesitate to share this video with friends and family who might find it equally intriguing. And don't forget to turn on notifications to stay updated on our future discussions filled with new questions and challenging ideas. Remember, the most profound answers often lie hidden beneath the surface of the hardest questions. Thank you for joining us on this intellectual adventure, and we look forward to embarking on the next journey of discovery with you.